Hey guys, Zero here again. As of July 8th, 2020, that will be the one year anniversary of since I started the South Beach Diet. And I'm happy to say I've come a long way in only just a year. I'm no longer type 2 diabetic, and I've lost around 100 pounds. Of course, I've still got a long way to go, and it's gotten harder every day to keep the weight off, but I'm determined until I get down to a healthy weight. Changing my diet isn't the only thing I've done. I've also been exercising regularly. I've been going for daily walks, and getting in the pool to do laps and do swimming, and I even got a gym membership at the start of 2020. Then the quarantine happened. Yep. I wasn't able to do as many exercises at home, and unfortunately, I missed out on Ring Fit Adventures. Luckily, it didn't take long for things to warm up, so I was finally able to get back to my regular exercising. In the midst of quarantine with everybody stuck at home, it's given us all a time to adjust, and for those of us who are creatives, to be more creative, with me making more videos on this channel and streaming a lot on Twitch. While not a big adjustment for me, it has been a big adjustment for many people and industries, including the video game industry and the company we're going to be talking about today, Nintendo. Many game developers have been staying home making games to whatever capacity they can. Today's game is going to be Jump Rope Challenge on the Nintendo Switch. It's a simple game where you use your Joy-Cons to do the motion of a jump rope. Every day you have a challenge of doing at least 100 jumps, and you can do more or less depending on what you're feeling. For such a simple concept, it actually works really well. I don't know about you guys, but when I was in school, there was this charity thing going on every year called Jump Rope for Heart. Essentially, you went out to the community to get uh, donations, and the more donations you got, the more jump rope jumps you had to do. Growing up being the fat kid, I was never that good at exercise or jump rope in general. But I believed in the cause, so I did it every year. The thing is, with this game, you don't have to worry about that. Just hold the Joy-Con sideways and do a jump rope motion, and it will count towards doing a jump. Now, some might call it cheating to try to play a jump rope game without, you know, a jump rope. But at the end of the day, what matters is that you're getting the exercise you need. At first, I was very impressive with how it worked with the Joy-Cons. But as time went on, I realized it's not as impressive as I first thought. Full disclosure, I did a full week's worth of Jump Rope Challenge legitimately on my main Switch account, and then I used a secondary Switch account just to test other things out so my numbers wouldn't get fudged up. As it turns out, the game tracks nearly any motion made with the Joy-Cons. While I was disappointed, that actually got me thinking. You probably could use this game to do reps with other exercises. Think about it, you could use it for boxing, you could use it for doing jumping jacks. The potential is there. I wonder if Derek from Stop Skeletons From Fighting has ever messed around with this. It's a free app, so there's no reason not to. Maybe I'll send him this video and see what crazy ideas him and Grace come up with. Free video idea for you guys. Hop to it. At the end of the day, what can I say about Jump Rope Challenge? It kind of works. This game is free until September 30th, 2020, so don't sleep on this one. Get it while it's free, and don't miss out on it like I missed out on Ring Fit Adventures. Truth be told, we don't know how much longer this quarantine is going to last and there's been murmurs of there being a second wave. Don't get stuck being the guy who forgot to buy Ring Fit Adventures. Get this game, grab a couple of Joy-Cons, and jump some rope. Unless, of course, you're on a Switch Lite. All I can say to that is... Sorry?